I just wanna put a hundred mil in the safe Don't give a f what it takes No, no, I'm on my grind what they say Ain't no lame looking eating on my plate Oh, no, 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 no. Gang. Welcome back to another video. Oh boy. It is a bitter sweet moment. It is Sunday night. And um I'm just laying down relaxing, trying to get my mind and my body together for this procedure in the morning. Um, I have to be to the hospital at 9 a.m. Surgery starts at 11. So I guess they'll be prepping and doing like triage and stuff like that for the up two hours or whatever. I was hoping and praying that I could have got an earlier time, but I guess someone else is scheduled before me. So, you know, I have to wait. Excuse my dog barking. Um, but yeah, I'm just relaxing. Um, we just ate a decent meal. Um, I can't eat no more after 12, so, if, well, of course I'm not going to eat after 12 anyway. Um, but, yeah, so I'm just chilling. Um, how do I feel? I'm nervous, I'm anxious, um, I'm excited to share this journey with you guys. Um, I'm excited for my children to see their sibling um you know and the rest of my family to see the baby um i'm actually sitting here um watching um uh, some videos on youtube with um you know people different um cesarean vlogs or stories and stuff like that I don't know why, but that's what I'm currently doing. Even though I done had like 50 of them already, but I'm just anxious to watch. Um, what else I want to say? I hope this epidural go fast and smooth. Um. I'm gonna get up probably like around six or seven, take me a nice good shower, and you know, just pray. <laughs> Hi, just pray that everything well, I know everything is gonna go well, and um, just hope, <laughs> hope my nerves calm down a little bit. I'm really nervous about this episode out of all things. But yeah, you guys, so I will see you guys in the I morning. The baby day. Okay, you can't say it out loud, mommy. I will see you guys in the morning. Yeah. Bright and early. Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to get up and go flat iron my, um, my wig. Um, and put my last minute things in my bag, which is like the toothbrush and the toothpaste and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna get the snacks. Snacks for us, okay. I'm gonna get, <laughs> I'm gonna get the snacks and stuff from my, um, hold on a second, one second. My mommy told me I to get, um, from my local store when I get outside in the morning. You know, I do, I'm not gonna lie, like I eat hospital food, but it really depends on what it is. You know, and then the hospital that I'm having a baby in, they have a really good um, cafeteria. Um, but I don't really wanna eat too much junk, that's the thing. Cause I wanna make sure this whole breastfeeding 
process is a success. I'm going to show you these um, pills that I ordered from Amazon that have really good views. Um, for it, if there's any mothers that are watching this that, ex that is expecting or they um, are currently breastfeeding or whatever they, whatever the case is. I found these pills. I'm going to show you guys in the morning. Um, it helps to... Um, you know, release the milk from your breasts easily, or whatever the case is. Um, yeah. So, I'm hoping that that works. And, um, I'm gonna be using a pump. I also got one that should be coming any day now. I didn't, um, I ordered, I wanna order it late, so it should get here though. I'm just hoping baby can latch on time and do a great job. And we might not probably have to use a pump unless, you know, I need to have a supply. I'll see you once I get to the hospital. Make sure you give this video a like. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Your post notification bell is turned on. Drop a comment down below. So we'll give you um, a comment shout out. And um, also, just stay tuned for the vlog. And hopefully, everything will go smooth and fast. But sometimes they have you at the hospital. They say get there at nine and they don't start surgery till like two or three. I just don't get it. But I know it takes time to do like triage and prepping and I did blood work so I hope I don't have to do any more. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna let y'all see the final baby bump and everything once I get settled and checked in and stuff. So I'll see you guys at the hospital. Guys, it is 10.30 a.m. And we are here. This is the room. We're getting all prepped for surgery. I'm about to get changed and then talk to the doctors and we, sh we should be starting soon. We're supposed to start at 11. So hopefully everything runs on time.
How are you feel? I'm nervous. You nervous? Why? Yeah, I'm nervous for you. Why are you nervous for me? So Move over this way. I don't want to record the TV. Why? Because you're nervous. That's why. I'm only nervous about one thing. After that's over, I'm good. Nah, but I'm happy, you know. You know, God gonna make it do what it do. So, you know what I mean? Just pray on it. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be good. And after we leave here, we're gonna do some big things. Yeah. <sighs> should you have taken off your shoes first? I don't want to. I think you should, babe. No, nah, it's germs. What? I got the um germs, germs everywhere. Yeah, I'm about to get ready. Uh, go take care of this this situation. Take a baby out. Ah. Mm -hmm. I'm about to call the rest of my team for my teammates. Doc, did you get the tools? Okay. <laughs> Guys, we get ready. <sighs> Let's go to the back. Come on, I'm so nervous. Oh my god. No, no, be nervous, girl. Uh, my doc hands, got you. My hands is getting sweaty already. Oh, you gotta put shoes on. D did your husband get here yet? <laughs> Yeah, we about to go full blast. Hmm. Almost ready, guys. Um, the surgery should take about less than an hour. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, the doctor. so so nervous. Oh, yeah. baby, you gotta put my hair net on. Hmm? Okay. My hair. Why are you calling the doctor, baby? You can see the time, 12.37. Yeah, guys, we're just getting ready. I was on the monitor for about like an hour, not too long. Um, They gave me two pills and some, I don't know if it's brown. It's like a brown cup. I think it's for like um, nausea. And um, my anesthesiologist came in and spoke to me again for the second time. You know, she was just telling me don't be nervous and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so I'm just sitting here watching the news. I said my prayers. Um, and I'm just waiting. I miss my little baby. Well, I miss all my children, of course. My sudden, she's like so worried. She's like, mommy, can you please come and get me? Can you come get me? <laughs> I miss her. Oh, man. But hopefully it'll be over soon. I'm waiting. Um, yeah, you guys. So I guess the next time I'll see you, I'll be on that table. Um, I don't think I, I'm able to record while I'm getting epidural, so I don't know how that's going to go. I'll ask, though, but I doubt it. But if not, next time you'll see me yeah. is... I just came back from doing a crazy surgery. But stop. Yeah. It was hard to get that baby out. I got one more to do. You need to put those rings away. Cause it look like it's gonna fall off. Yeah, can you put this on for me? Yeah. Don't knock my wig off. Oh, Chris. Oh. Oh, nice. You got a good setup. <laughs> That's great. It's so legit. Thank you. Wow. Pull it in the IV. Move. Oh. <laughs> so crazy. Is all the hair is in? 
Right. Yeah, I can't put that hat on, y'all. <laughs> yeah. The hat is matching a suit or the suit matching a hat? You tell me. Oh, babe, we forgot to ask for bad, because we don't come back in here. She said, go oh, to the other room. Yeah. Oh. We're going to be doing a lot of videos on this right here. Mm. Yeah. That could be stuff. <laughs> Hey guys, I am back. Baby is here, and I am grateful. Thank God, everybody's in good health. Um, me and baby, um. She's over there chilling. Um, right now she's under like um, what do you call it? Oh, like a shoot, a warmer. She's under a warmer. Look at the time, guys. Let me tell you about my little story. Um, so I was doing the um procedure and. They had me like on the table, I want to say at least two and a half hours before baby got out. You know, um, let's start from the beginning. I got the epidural and I am not going to lie, that Indian nurse, or I'm sorry, the Indian um anesthesiologist she made me feel so comfortable when i tell you like the the touch of her hands like was just like okay i'm gonna do this and she just talking to me nice and soft and sweet it was just like everything to me it made me feel comfortable they had the r&b music going and i just got in a better mood and it wasn't bad at all. I was so petrified. My palms were sweating. My feet were sweating. I wanted to freaking rip off my wig. Like, I'm just like, oh my God, when everybody get this over. Like, why y'all just can't put me to sleep? You know? But it was amazing. It wasn't bad at all. Um, I got on the table. And... Well, I was already on the table, but I positioned myself on the table the correct way, and it was okay. Yeah, so we just chilling. Um, I am currently in, what do you call this, the recovery room, because um, they monitor my blood pressure. My blood pressure was a little high, and also baby temperature her body temperature was kind of low so they um they're gonna leave us here for maybe like two or three hours and then we go upstairs to our room um daddy went downstairs to get some food for us i haven't eaten all day well since actually yesterday around this time to be exact we had pizza so um yeah i'm just chilling and trying to make the best of it um i still have my foley catheter in i have my compression um what do you call this leg massages i want to say and um i guess when i go upstairs they'll move the foley catheter i had to just wait a couple hours after the anesthesia wears off and then um they can remove it i have in total three ivs one in the let me see if i can try to show you guys 
I have one here. This is called the, uh, um, I want to get it right. I don't want to say the wrong thing. I think it's like an artery, um, a artery, um, Oh my God, I have a brain fart. What is it called? A artery IV. So basically, um, this is used to monitor blood pressure. I guess that's what the lady said. So um, if it goes too high or if it drops too low, they can give me something right away that can um, get straight to the artery and help the situation. Then I have another one here just to use for blood to draw blood then i have the other one over here with my fluids only um and then i got my blood pressure cuff here um so yeah i'm all taped up but um it's been going good i have been breastfeeding i did three feedings so far thank god i'm so happy uh, I'm not letting my baby leave my side because I, this is my like last um, baby, and I want to try to do like you know my, my best, do my best with most things, you know. So um, I do want to try to breastfeed her as as much as I can, you know. So she needs to stay by mommy's side. Um, yeah, she's just sleeping away, my precious little baby girl. Guys, oh my God, you would not believe it. Remember how I remember how I told you guys that I think my baby would be small at birth. So I expect her to be between five and six pounds. Homegirl came out nine pounds six ounces. I'm gonna repeat that again nine pounds six ounces and you would never believe that i didn't believe that i'm like what like how i have one baby that was that big which is princess i think she was nine eight or nine ten somewhere in between it don't quote me but i know she was over nine pounds um i could not believe it my husband kept saying what what are you serious like crazy really 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 crazy i'm not sure about the inches i gotta get it off the um the footprint footprint paper but yeah i couldn't believe it guys um real different but i'm excited i can't wait till you guys see her i can't wait to tell you guys her name um yeah oh man um i'm not in any pain i'm gonna try to avoid any type of pain um pain pills or anything like that the epidural wore off already i don't really go wiggle my toes move my legs um everything like that but i still have to give it more time so you know just to be on the safe side um yeah, so I'm just chilling right now. I'm going to finally get something to eat. Try to close my eyes. I'm exhausted. Um, that I don't know what they put inside the, um, the IV when you get the C-section. But that thing had me, like, gone. And I, I fell asleep. I never fell asleep um, during my C-section. I fell asleep. I was snoring and everything. My husband woke me up. He's like, babe, you're snoring. You're snoring. I was like, I am? I was like, oh, man, I'm really tired because last night I was just up. I couldn't, like, get enough good sleep because, of course, I was thinking about that epidural. And it wasn't even that bad. But, guys, I'll be back. I'm going to get something to eat. Um, just try to close my eyes. I don't want to fall into a deep sleep because I know I'm going to have to wake up and feed baby in a minute so um yeah i'll get back to you hey guys i am back 
it is partially the next day well it is the next day so day number two at the hospital um i have baby girl right here she's trying to um latch on and um get things started i'm waiting for them to bring the pump there's no more um, electric pumps available, so I have to use the main one, which these fingers and hands are going to be cramping today because my baby got to get some type of rub going on here. So they say when you have a cesarean, it takes more time for the, um, like the milk to come out or whatever the case is. So I just hope for the best. Um, a little bit water in it, just a little bit, not too much. So I hope for the best, and um, we can get things started. I just wanted to update you guys. I really apologize that we couldn't um, record during the um, procedure. I don't know what it's. It was too. Uh, nurses there that was just like giving an issue with my husband as soon as he busts out his camera it's like oh you cannot video record in here and then one of the nice nurses she asked me she said what do you guys use the camera for i said we are um content creators so you know everything i do i try to get on camera and we use it for youtube and stuff like that so she's like oh that's so beautiful so I'm like, yeah, I'm not understanding why they're giving me a hard time um, recording. Because every child we have, I record it. I record it on my phone. We had Sudden, I recorded it on my phone, Snapchat, everything. We had everything on video. So I'm not sure um, what changed in between that time. But they gave us a problem recording. They said only pictures once the baby is out the wound or whatever the case is so i really apologize about that but um that is just insane to me but with that being said i just wanted to update you guys and i'll get back to you in the morning